Now, once it's done here, as you can see in Azure, there is no send and receive in and out because or any traffic through the VPN. So what we're gonna do here, we go to the VM here, we create the VM very quick, and we say we need a new virtual machine here, create, then we will see the resource group, you can put it your resource group, virtual machine name, I will say uh, this is VM01, and we'll be in the same east, US East one. And you want a Windows is enough for that and make sure uh, you have a username. I will put a username and the password here as well. It's RDP protocol and next. This is the hard disk, you keep it default. Then next network, network is very important. Azure 01, this is your virtual network. Make sure is an Azure 01 because this is your network and this is the subnet. You remember 10.27. I think we need to change that one as well in a Prisma in a static route as well in order to make sure is access to the network. Once it's done this one, you need a public IP. Right, for public IP, you can put it public IP for management, no problem here. But in our case, I don't want it public IP. I want all the traffic for this VM send it to tunnel. And from the tunnel, I can access this server maybe through the remote networks from my service connection from data center. So I don't want it public IP. And I keep everything default here next. And after that, next and tag i don't want it and create already after a few minutes so here running and validations pass so once it's validation passes so it means it's ready to create so create it here we need a route table as well in order to reroute the traffic for this vm everything to the tunnel so i'm gonna use here route table i can write here route table this is route table here so in the route table, I create a new route table and this route table as well, I pointing up to my group and region, make sure everything you configure it at the same region, which is East US, then name, I will say this is RT dash or Azure 01, 01 network. So I create this route table. This route table is important. I'm gonna use it, this one for the new computer here. All right, I back to the route table here and I make sure my VM is work right now, perfect. My VM is completed. Maybe I go to the resource, VM01. As you can see, this is my VM. As you can see, I don't have public IP because I will route all the traffic for this VM to the private VPN tunnel. So this VM IP 10.27.1.4, private IP. So you back to the route table here. I think from here, route table. And our route, they call RT dash space. I think this one, yeah, that one. So now this is the route table here for the computer. So remember I, I tied the subnet here for the computer here in this route table. So I go to the routes here. As you can see here in the route, I will add to Prisma. I want to send to Prisma. I want to send address everything slash zero, everything I want to send to the virtual network gateway, the VM here. So I hit okay here. And will we process mean all the traffic for this VM will be go to the Prisma access and everything from this computer will be go to the Prisma access. So how to make sure everything work fine because if you go to the connected here for the VPN connected one still zero send and receive as you can see here. So what I try to do now I will try to test the VPN from the Prisma access is work or no. So how to do that? I will go back to our design. If you remember our design here, I will back to the Prisma access. I will go back to the Prisma access here to uh, on the premises here. I have one server here. 
and from this server I will try to RDP to this server or to the new VM through the VM or through 10. Through, through the VPN 10.27.1.4 the IP address for this computer once this RDP is done I can go from this computer to make sure I can access internet I can access as well this computer I make sure the tunnel this is work once actually is have a RDP access to this VM through this tunnel mean the tunnel works and sender and receive will be work perfectly let's go to try that i will go here and i will add this network 10.27.0.0 slash 16 in my route table in my firewall here so let's go there in firewall and do that all right i'm in the firewall here behind the service connection so as you can see here i go to the routing here and i will add default route pointing back to the 10.127 i already added here as you can see here so if any connection to the service connection or data center i have a routing back as you can see here and pointing to the tunnel which is pointing to prism access as well so once it's done this one i have the remote networks here this is the behind the service connection and this is the uh, computer or server behind the service connection so from here I will try to ping to the 10 ping to 10.27.1.4 which is the computer uh, behind the uh, service uh, behind the remote networks so the reply is there this is came through the tunnel so let's try to do RDP I did the RDP as you can see here so I can reach the network as you can see here from the uh, can put it CMD here from the uh, uh, tunnel so the tunnel will work fine here so if I do ping back to the 10.5.3.4 which is the server through the tunnel so this is a ping from the computer behind the VPN to the server behind the service connection this is all about perfect now can i go to the ping to 888 minus t as you can see here i can go to the internet even though i have the default route in uh, in uh, default route in azure pointing to prism access the reason why azure need to uh, play with or need to remove something they call default route in the Azure. This is PowerShell command. We don't need to deal with, but I will show you how to fix this one very quick. Back to the Azure very quick here. This is the Azure. And let's go to uh, service local network gateway here. And this is our local network gateway. Go to the configuration here. This is the route you need to deal with you can't add here four zero or quite zero default route here because it's already in the system for azure you need to remove it by powershell commands but for test i just put it 888 32 here then i hit save just for check just for verification purpose here perfect as you can see save it here let's back to the uh, remote desktop computer here and see the result back to the normal computer here perfect the ping is here I can ping to the 8888 so I can't reach to the internet here this issue because use the static route if we use the BGP we don't need to deal with this uh, uh, static route in Azure let's change this route and use BGP so I will show you how to configure the BGP as well from here let's start from uh, azure so i go to the azure to start to do the prisma uh, the bgp so first of all you have to go to the virtual network here and we will turn on the vng01 here go to the configuration enable the bgp here this is the default autonomous system from azure you need that copy 
and this is the network azure is always as you can see they give you a range between 169.254.21 to 22 for the uh, ip address for peering uh, with the bgp so i am fine with that number five i'm fine with that i'm will be six and this is uh, i need as well this ip and this attorney mount system perfect so i turn it on from here after that, when this one done, you can go ahead and go to the local network gateway as well. Then you go to the configuration as well and turn on the BGP here. As you can see, I turn on the BGP. They asked me what is the autonomous system for Prisma access. And I will bring the autonomous system from here. If I go to Panorama, as you can see here for the Prisma access the configuration. Make sure to copy the uh, autonomous system, the correct autonomous system. This is the default one, the default autonomous system. We will put it back here. This is the peering autonomous system, and the IP will be 169.254.21. 169 so this is the other side so I copy that one as well and I save this one and another part we need within the connection but you have to make sure the save BGP save it here and complete it here before to go to the connection so let's check it out it's still the connection or local network gateway is still in the progress here uh, so maybe waiting here in order to finish the configuration for connected because if you go to the connected here connection and configuration as well and turn on the bgp you see here enable and save it they give you error here you need you have to have completed here for the local network gateway first once it's finished as you see everything is fine i can turn it on now and save it so will we go through without any uh, issue perfect so i will configure uh, prisma access so i need the uh, autonomous system for azure i go here remote networks they go to the yeah given azure rn here so i said i don't want it static anymore delete that i need enable here I think I configured it before. Yep, perfect. This is the autonomous system, correct? And this is the peering dot five and dot six. It is the uh, my local IP address. And make sure to advertise default route. If you don't put it this, we never get access to the internet from the computer behind the VPN in Azure. Perfect. Once is this one done. I will go here and save the configuration. I will go ahead and save the configuration here in remote networks. Perfect. And as well in the uh, uh, Azure is already saved. As you can see here, the last uh, enablement for the connections is went through. As you can see here in the configuration, BGP is turning on here as well. Perfect. Don't forget to remove this these networks because you don't need anymore it's supposed to be coming from BGP dynamically so I remove it everything and save as well when I install or enable BGP setting as well otherwise the static routing will be still preferred so it's better to remove the static route from here and prefer the BGP dynamic route between Azure and Prisma access in this case all right check the yeah the configuration look like it's completed push it to the cloud here so how to check the bgp is established or no as you know in the status you go to the network details in the network details go to the remote networks and go to the specific uh the branch or remote networks instance so when you click here in a branch as end router then in peer here yep as you can see it's status it is uh, established so 
sometimes you see connected or active doesn't work should be established here as you can see here the peering ip as well with autonomous systems and there is no security during the installation between the peering you can put an authentication password as well in order to make it more secure by you are all through the tunnel at the end rib or route information base with the out as well this is it takes time so maybe let's see the result from the computer once when the bgp establishes status so i will go to the remote networks here the computer and i back to the computer vm behind the vpn and i will turn on cmd again and i think to google for example again let's see perfect as you can see here now this is through bgp is no more uh, static route if you go to access internet as well let's check very quick we can reach to the network looks like the network will work as well perfect so the network and the access to the internet or SaaS application is there look like this work very quick check as well for the can I access to my uh, service connection as well very quick let's check it out this so here I will do ping to 10.5.3.4 which is the uh, server behind uh, service connection perfect I can access privately as well and this is the show as the connection is work fine and let's go very quick to see very important thing and consider the last piece if you go to the connection here we can check the last part here in the connection in overview as you can see here I have a traffic back and forth in and out through the tunnel and the tunnel is connected so should be everything is okay at that point all right you can check as well the traffic from monitor here if you go to prism access i put the filter here for uh, the pc behind the vpn as you can see here the user from azure uh, remote networks and you can see untrusted to untrusted here then they go to the internet access as you can see here this is the internet access from this computer if I put it the destination as well where is the destination uh, destination here I just change it to the server behind the service connection which is 10.5.3.4 and hit OK and see if I can see the perfect i can see that one go through the tunnel internally through the prism access is come as a source 10.27.1.4 behind the vpn in remote networks in azure and they go through the service connection or prism access through the service connection reach to the server behind the service connection which is 10.5.3.4 internally perfect with that i appreciate your time and thank you for watching